Jamie Dimon, we're told, is set to apologize tomorrow when he uh, meets in Washington for that big mayor couple. The members, the members want to know how he lost $2 billion. John Thomas Financial CEO Tom Belisa says the table should be turned. It is what it is, though, right? Great to see you, Neil. What's going to happen to this guy? You know, I mean, unfortunately, we're in an environment where the administration has portrayed anything to do with finance as the devil. So tomorrow they're going to put his feet to the fire. I mean, you know, first things first, let's call it how it is. Banks are businesses. They make decisions that sometimes turn into profits and, unfortunately, losses. And this yeah, but in someone made $2 billion here. Uh, He's you, being questioned by people who lose trillions routinely. Right. You know, and, you know, you know, J.P. Morgan CEO, Jamie Dimon, is a very well-respected guy on Wall Street. You know, he's done very well. Well, are you going to be watching him closely? Or what are you we're going to be, gonna be keeping about? a tab. What are you going to worry about? We just want to see, you know, you know, there's a lot of regulations out there that are overbearing and are costing companies. Get ready for more. Get ready for more. You're absolutely right. So we're going to keep an eye on what they're saying. Now, here, yes, they lost big, but it didn't affect the bank, its depositors, or its taxpayers. You know, it's like... Do you think this push for new rules around regulations is overkill. It's too much. It's putting too much burden on companies. They, they, some companies that don't make enough money can't afford to bring on extra staff to accommodate, you know, these new regulatory burdens. So it's going to put companies out of business. And right now in this environment, we want to keep companies in business and expanding and growing. And that's not happening with this current administration. Really quickly, this woman you hired, an Occupy Wall Streeter, she did a great job. She's starting her own company. That is correct. You're the only Wall Street guy who did that. How do you feel about that? I feel great. I think we made the right decision. I mean, she was very talented. She was looking for a job. And, you know, we gave her a job while other people wouldn't even look at her to hire her. We said, listen, you know what? We see an opportunity. She saw an opportunity. She's a class act. She sung the, the world of praises of you. Yeah, no, she's a wonderful person. And, you know, listen, she wanted to start her own business. That was on her mind in the beginning. And we were fully supportive of that. And we did a great thing. And I'm you. very happy with her. Good for you. You're as good as you are a movie star. <laughs> Wall Street 2 starts on Belize's. Running out of time. We'll see you tomorrow on this whole Jamie Dimon thing.